I'm Dr. Bernstein, and we're going to be discussing second degree AV block. This is an incomplete conduction which occurs at the AV node. Some signals from the SA node pass through and trigger QRS complexes, but some do not. There are two variants you must know and be able to recognize. The first variant is called Mobitz type 1, also called Wenckebach. The hallmark EKG finding is that each successive atrial impulse encounters a longer and longer delay in the AV node until one impulse, which is usually the third or fourth, fails to make it through. On EKG, you will see a progressive lengthening of the PR interval with each beat until a beat is dropped. That is, there is a P wave, but no QRS after it. This cycle repeats, often with impressive regularity. Wenckebach block occurs in the AV node. You must be able to recognize it for test purposes. The second variant is called Mobitz type 2. This type of block occurs at the bundle of Hiss, just below the AV node. Progressive lengthening of the PR interval does not occur. The PR interval is constant. Instead, some signals get through normally, and some do not. On EKG, you will see two or more completely normal beats with normal PR intervals. Unless, of course, there's also a first degree block. And then suddenly, you'll see a P wave with no QRS after it. The ratio of conducted to non conducted beats varies constantly, and in one tracing, you may see 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 3 to 2, or other ratios of blocks of the P wave and the QRS complexes. The diagnosis of Mobitz type 2 requires the presence of a drop beat without progressive lengthening of the PR interval that is seen in type 1. Mobitz type 2, while not as strange looking on EKG as type 1, is actually much more serious and dangerous. Because it signifies conduction problems through the bundle of Hiss, it is prone to suddenly progressing to third degree complete heart block. Second degree blocks typically require placement of a pacemaker because they are inherently unstable. Technically, if you see a 2 to 1 block, it is impossible to say whether it is Mobitz type 1 or type 2. This is because you can only see one PR interval, so you can't tell if the PR interval is lengthening or not. This is a common scenario and should simply be called a second degree block with two to one conduction. You can't be more specific as to whether this second degree block is Mobitz type one or type two.